Hello, this is Rory Graham uh, with Ally Video Services, and uh, I've got some exciting information here uh, about reputation marketing. Uh, and I believe it begins really with uh, the fact that a lot of people wonder whether they're even being looked for online. And one of the things that you can do to determine this is to go to uh, Google uh, and type in the word keyword tool and it will bring up Google's keyword tool and it will uh, you can type in keywords that people might use to search for your business and see how many people a month Google says are actually typing in that keyword. Here's some examples that might surprise you. For instance, um, now I did this under under exact match which uh, uh, not the broad match, but the exact match. The difference there is is the exact match is they're typing in ex uh, pest control Portsmouth, for instance, and broad match means that they're typing in any combination of those words. So in this particular case, uh, we want to be as uh, uh, accurate as possible. Uh, so as you can see, uh, typing in pest control Portsmouth, we have 16 people uh, every month. Uh, locksmith uh, in Chesapeake, 36 people are looking for a locksmith in Chesapeake every month. Now this isn't us saying it, it's Google saying it. Our realtors uh, in Virginia Beach, they're getting 73 hits a month typing in that particular term. Dentist in Virginia Beach, wow, 360 a month are looking for a dentist. Uh, chiropractors, 28. Plumbers, 36. Um, uh, used cars, Virginia Beach, are over a thousand. Maybe that's the reason we have so many uh, uh, car dealers in this area. Anyway, so you can see that all over Hampton Roads and uh, actually all over the world, people are using the internet to search for the products that they're looking for. And uh, so to, to begin this session, I'd like to start with a question. And the question is, would you buy a product or service that has bad ratings or reviews? And you say, well, that's a stupid question. Well, well really, um, you know, it, it, it's one that you have to think about as a, as a business owner. And let's just, just analyze this for a second because it is important to how people are looking at you online. Uh, for instance, if we had two products that were identical, one had 10 good reviews and one has three reviews and one bad review, which one would you buy? And I think obviously you would say, well, I, I, I would obviously go for the one that had the 10 good reviews. Well, why is that? Well, the reason for that is the fact that you have um, a situation where you, you do not want to experience someone else's bad experience. So when you see 10 good reviews, obviously you, you would like to have a good experience too. Uh, the same could be said is if you had no reviews. Now, if you have no reviews, then uh, and your competition has five reviews, then your person is more likely to go with the one with five good reviews than the person that had no reviews. So this is something that you need to keep in mind as we go forward. So. This re reputation marketing training is just to give you some idea of how important reviews are and to kind of explain to you or get you to realize that it's the most important way that you can market your business. And that's what we're going to talk about. Now, I'm going to talk a kind of fast because I'm trying to keep this video short and uh, respect your time. But uh, let's kind of move through this and see what we're talking about here. Your reputation is everything. Now, you've heard that said before, but on marketing, that's really true. And we've had a number of game changers that are, are um, responsible for this. And the fact is that people who haven't seen this training or haven't really analyzed it or thought about it don't even know it yet. So you're going to be a bit ahead of the game in, in that respect. Uh, the game changer uh, number one is that any company name and city that's typed in, when you type in the company name plus the city, it will be revealing their their reputation score, and right up front and center. And uh, so, for instance, in this this case, we have uh, this guy uh, Douglas J. Alderman, uh, DMD, in Pennsylvania. And he's got a score of 15 out of 30 with 10, 10 reviews. And you'll see that the reviews and things are being posted all over the place now. 
and links to the reviews are being posted so people have access to the reviews good or bad or non-existent so uh, that's important for you to keep in mind so game changer number one is the reviews are being posted right out front where people can go see them that's because they know people are using them uh, game changer number two is that customer reviews are a major factor in almost every type of online marketing and that means that they're showing up in maps and Google they're showing up in your pay-per-click ads they're showing up with your website rankings in your organic searches and in the local directories so everywhere you look you're seeing the reviews being posted and links to the reviews being posted and in many cases the review scores being posted so this is important because if you've got a great one that's wonderful for you if you don't have any reviews or you have bad reviews then that's not very good news at all the next game changer is that SEO social media pay-per-click and all kinds of local marketing they they don't work anymore or at least they don't work as effectively as they could if you have no reviews or if you have bad reviews because if you have uh, uh, these things trying to push your attention or your website online up to the front page, which SEO can do and, and, and uh, Google Places can do and, and some local marketing things can do, uh, and even pay-per-click can do, if it's showing a bad score or links to bad re reviews or no reputation view reviews at all, then um, that's not good, especially when they're comparing you against the next guy on the list and he's got some good reviews or, or, or he has reviews. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to, create to, to uh, um, fix this, is you need to create a five-star reputation and you need to market your products and services after you've created the five-star reputation. That way when they go to your page or you show up on the front page, you're showing up with a great reputation. Uh, game changer number four is that um, review, reviews send you pre-qualified or pre-sold customers because here's, here's a real important fact for you to remember if you don't remember anything else out of today and that is that people trust re, uh, reviews online almost as much as personal recommendations. As a matter of fact, 72% of buyers trust reviews as much as personal uh, uh, recommendations. And um, so this is from uh, uh, several different surveys. And I'm going to show you one here that'll, that, that will back that up in just a minute, uh, another one. Uh, but in this particular one, 72% of buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. Uh, the, here's the next one I wanted to show you. This is from Nielsen, you know, the people that do the TV uh, ratings and things. Well, this is a Nielsen survey. And they ask people, uh, to what extent do you trust the following forms of advertising? Well, recommendations from people I know got 92%. There, well, there's no surprise there. Okay, but look at the second one. The second one below that was consumers' opinions posted online. And that was the second thing that they trust the most. And so uh, when you talk to people and ask them if they, if they look at reviews online, uh, I would say that probably 90% of the people will tell you yes. Um, and you're probably one of them. And your customers are no different. And look, at, look below this. This is what's kind of amazing. Look below this. Editorial comments such as newspaper articles about your company, only 58%. Branded websites, 58%. Uh, emails uh, that they signed up for. 50%. Ads on TV, 47%. Text messages on the mobile phone, 20%. So as you can see that no matter what other form of advertising you're using, reviews rank higher in credibility for, for, for customers. And that's something really important to remember. Uh, in, in fact, um, that uh, customers that are uh, look up an average of 10 reviews before making a buying decision. And uh, I'm sure you've probably done that too. If you're looking for a car, you're going to look at a number of reviews on it. Uh, the bigger the ticket item, the more research you'll do. Uh, and 70% uh, of consumers trust a business with a minimum of 6 to 10 reviews. So you have to check and ask yourself, oh, how many reviews do I have? And how good are the reviews that I have? Uh, so the fact is, without um, five, uh, without ten five-star reviews, your business really isn't trusted. 
uh, certainly not as trusted as it could be. So what is reputation marketing? It's positioning yourself as a market leader in front of thousands of people who are looking for you. And this is according to Google. Uh, and you know they're looking for you. And so if you've got a five-star reputation and, you're, and your competition doesn't, or they have a bad reputation, or they have no reputation, people are more likely to go with that five-star reputation. So it's really, really important. So you're probably sitting there saying, okay, okay, I got it. So I know it's important. So well, how do I get a five-star reputation, or how do I create that kind of a reputation? And that's what we have. We have a strategy to help you do that. And here's some of what's involved in that. And the first thing, that would be involved is to know where are you right now with your reputation? What, what uh, uh, score do you have now? And uh, that's, that's important to know. And you can go right now and it take you 30 seconds to go right now and get a free reputation report about your business and see exactly where you rank online. And you can do that by going to www.checkoutmyreputation.com. All you do is put in your phone number, and it'll give you some free training as well. It'll give you a report instantly. It'll check online, tell you where, what review sites and all that are coming up for you. It'll tell you if you have any bad reviews. Uh, and it's a real eye-opening experience for a lot of companies who have never even checked. So, and it's free. And uh, so, so uh, please take advantage of that. And... Um, You'll, you'll see that, uh, uh, and you'll notice, that if you're looking into reputa reputation in your category, you'll see that there are four types of reputations out there. There's bad reputations, we've mentioned that. There's no reputations, we've mentioned that. And there's good reputations, which means they have, you know, a couple of reviews, um, good reviews. And then there's a five-star reputation, and this is where... They have a lot of reviews, and as a matter of fact, they probably have them on numerous sites, uh, so you get a real good cross-section going for you. Uh, and so what we try to do is we try to develop a five-star reputation for you, and we then market that reputation, and we manage that reputation. And part of managing that reputation is creating a reputation marketing culture throughout your business. And so that's where I think that uh, this, this program that we have is incredibly uh, important to, to businesses today. And so that's kind of what we're going to be talking about a little bit. So let's get into it and say, well, okay, well, how do you develop that five-star reputation? Now you can do that through a number of uh, um, ways. And a lot of them in our strategy uh, revolve around a private posting uh, page, a uh, private review page. Now, this private review page is one that's custom designed for you. It's a place for your customers to go and put in a review. And the page, as a, it's branded to you, is your database. It holds the reviews. It tells you where they're going to, where they're posted uh, um, eventually, uh, when they're posted, and it holds them uh, in the database. Uh, so you see who actually posted the review originally. And it has uh, some streaming reviews about you on the side to inspire them to write a good review. And it, this, this page not only gives you control of the reviews because they don't actually post online until we post them, but it also uh, allows you to respond to a bad one if there was a bad one without it ever hitting online. Uh, and it allows your customers to easily post online. Because a lot of times you're going to find that uh, the client has all the intentions in the world of posting something for you. But when they go to do it, they have to jump through a lot of hoops and they end up getting frustrated and a lot of times they don't do it. Now, for instance, on Google Plus, if you, if you were going to post for a review and you didn't have an account, they're going to want you to get an email and they're going to want you to sign up for Google Plus and fill out a profile and then you can post a review and people just say, oh, uh, heck with that, I'm not going to do that. So... This makes it quite simple for them to post. And then once the review is put in here, then we can post the review for you. Uh, and that gives us and you total control of the review.
So uh, this is a really good strategy. Now we have email templates and business card templates and postcard templates where there are QR codes that lead, can lead directly to this to your private review page uh, that encourages people to post a review about you and you could put these um, business cards or postcards uh, in with bills or you can put them in the bag with uh, the, to, to get them to come and post for you or you could uh, mail them as far as uh, the postcards you could actually do a mailing so this is a, um, a good way to get people to to post reviews for you and then these are real reviews and these reviews get posted and help create that five star reputation that we've been talking about uh, another thing um, that people sometimes want to want to try to game the system and 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 I would like to caution you that um, all the reviews that we're talking about are real reviews. That's why we're going to the trouble to create the database and encourage your customers to post and all because you you don't want to uh, try to game the system by writing fake reviews. Uh, we want real reviews and you want real reviews. And if we can make it easy enough for your clients to do that, then that's great. Uh, now, you might be thinking, well, maybe I can get my clients to write reviews or I've got a whole stack of reviews here. I'll just hire someone to sit here and type them in. Well, that doesn't work. Uh, and the reason it doesn't work is because the review sites know that. Uh, is a possibility and so what they do is they have algorithms and filters that delete reviews that are posted from the same IP number so if you type in a review and uh, then you have your secretary type in another review from the same building same computer network uh, you're using the same IP and they recognize that IP and they delete the, net, the second review um, and this is this is to uh, protect against uh, people trying to game the system. So if you wanted to try to do that, you'd have to have your secretary run around to different buildings uh, in the city trying to post reviews on different computers all over the place trying to uh, uh, get them to post. Uh, not only that, but she would probably have to sign in, create profiles, create accounts, and all kinds of stuff. So it, there is a, a, a quite a bit uh, to it, and it can be frustrating for people just trying to do you a favor and post a review. So this is why we've tried to make it so easy. Now, we do some other things, or can do some other things, too, depending upon your package, and uh, that are very effective, and um, and things that, you know, you should consider in, in your reputation strategy. One of them is video review marketing, and video review, review marketing just takes your reviews to a whole new level. I mean, if you thought text reviews were great, you should see the response from video reviews. Video reviews are very powerful because uh, the person gets to actually see a person, see the sincerity, judge the person uh, through, uh, um, of course, uh, visual means as well as what they're saying in the audio. So uh, it's very, very powerful. Uh, video is the most powerful medium that you can use. And so video reviews are really powerful. And you could use those video reviews on your website, but you can also use text reviews on your website. And uh, we do that. We provide streaming text reviews coming in, and we can limit it to only five stars, for instance, get displayed on your website. So that type of stuff is important. Uh, posting reviews out on social media is good uh, for you to do. Um, and uh, there, you can use email marketing to solicit reviews. As I said, we have templates and things. And uh, you know, there's other things. There's map marketing and there's sales marketing. So you should use reviews in a little bit of everything that you're doing because reviews, as we've shown, are very highly thought of. Um, and some of the things that we can do to help manage this, this, this reputation once we've developed it is we, we have daily reporting that could be done. Um, Google alerts don't work on reviews and because usually the, the person reviewing you doesn't put in your name or your company name in the review because they're on a review page for you. So there's no, no point in repeating it. Uh, so if you set up a Google alert for your company name, that's just not going to work with reviews. Uh, but we, what we do is we monitor the key review sites 
uh, on a daily basis and can alert you. Most of our customers don't want daily alerts. What they want is they want an alert if it's a bad review it gets posted. Uh, they would like that right away. But the rest of the, the stuff uh, we report once a month as to how many reviews got posted and that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, you know, your your management of, of reviews uh, can be done to whatever level that you would like. Uh, and the other thing that we do um, is that we found that if your employees have an understanding of how important reviews are and what you're trying to do in creating a five-star reputation and the fact that you're only one bad review away from a problem, um, then it goes a long way to helping you get more reviews, helping you have better customer satisfaction, and delivering um you know, first class uh, customer service and creating raving fans. And so to help you along with that, we have a personalized reputation training center. And what this is, is a training center that your your employee can sign into uh, and they can view uh, five videos about reputation and the importance of it and what you're trying to do. And then they take a test, a little test afterwards and as the business owner, you would receive uh, an email saying they took the test, who took the test, and what score they got on the test. So that you know that all of your people have been through this training. And this is part of uh, uh, our, our uh, some of our packages. Um, and it's a customized training center to you. So the, uh, we, we know that, you know, reputation marketing is the most important form of marketing and that every company needs a strategy and we have we can put together a personal strategy for you to take your company to the next level and so what I'd suggest you do is check out that free reputation report uh, call for a free consultation we'd be glad to talk to you about uh, helping the internet work for you this is Rory Graham for Ally Video thank you